Yeah, the sector that I'm most excited about, Sam, uh, going into 2025 is, are the quantum stocks. There really aren't that many publicly listed quantum computing stocks. Uh, but the, the ones that exist have been roaring since uh, the U.S. election. Now, initially, it was because a bunch of them had just been given up on. There was some news in October uh, that out of China that they developed a quantum computer that they hacked into RSA level security to get access to some data, which is sort of you know state of the art currently. And I think people were assuming like this is a Trump trade, you know, yeah. qu quantum computing. Um, and, and so, uh, but then there was the Google Willow chip announcement in kind of you know early December, where suddenly you know people stopped saying, "Hey, quantum is maybe ten years away," to maybe this is like two or three years away, and maybe quantum stocks are in fact like sort of a next generation version of AI and a potential threat even to the Nvidia's of the world. And people started looking around, "What names can I buy?" And so you can buy. You know, names that are trying to build these chips or computer systems, quantum computing systems, to compete against the NVIDIAs. And, the, and I own a name like Rigetti Computing, where I bought it in early December, just over three bucks. And today it's like 20 bucks. It's had an enormous run, but it's still kind of less than a $5 billion market cap stock. There are other names like IonQ, D Wave Systems, like that, building their own systems. Uh, and then you have security. Uh, companies, because if, if people really are, you know, developing these quantum chips, you could potentially hack into SHA-256, any crypto wallet, uh, any RSA level security, and so who's going to be the the Palo Alto networks or the CrowdStrike for that for that uh, kind of level of security? Uh, and so I own like a. A uh, small cap company called BTQ Technologies that's mm -hmm. you know been working in this space for 10, 12 years. And they're really trying to be this uh, kind of securities uh, software, but they're all yeah. like a 400 million dollar stock, so you can kind of buy it almost like a venture type of investment today.